and welcome to Fox 8 Extra. I'm Stephanie Shaver along with producer Jen. We are just getting news in um, some information about Miles Garrett being reinstated with the Cleveland Browns just happening moments ago. Yeah, just breaking right now. So um, the NFL has reinstated Miles Garrett. Obviously, he's the defensive end. It is effective immediately. So he can start practicing with the team. He can do all that. Um, earlier this week, he met with NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. Mm -hmm. Obviously, things went well. Um, that's just coming down. Um, the reinstatement will allow him to be with the team, participate in all the off-season workouts. So those are scheduled to begin in early April. So that's huge news for the Browns. I know, it really is good news. I saw him uh, in December, and we sat together at an event, and my daughter was there. She asked him, she was, what do you miss the most? He said, I miss my team. Mm -hmm. I, miss, I miss the members of the team. I really miss being with the guys, because he wasn't able to travel with them either toward the end of the season. So I'm sure this is such great news for Miles. Mm -hmm. uh, get back on the field. Had that brotherhood, yeah. put it behind him. Mm -hmm. uh, Foxy viewers, are, they're sounding off too many, are saying, you know, great news, I'm so happy, welcome back, Miles, and, you know, we, we utter those same sentiments up here, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I think so, so too, so welcome back. Welcome All right. back. Time to uh, play some football. Mm -hmm. All right. Go Browns. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about, too. Of course, it's just a couple days before Valentine's Day, so we're asking you the question, do you think, do you like to be home on Valentine's Day? Do you like to go out to a nice restaurant or go to a place you've never been before? So are you a stay in or go out? So we're talking about that. Also, uh, Matt Colleg introduces us to a fantastic group called A Kid Again. We've got that coming up. And then check it out yeah. over there. We want to say hello to Christine and, um, and company over here <laughs> as they've got some great little DIY. So if you are one of those, like you want to stay in, that's something. It smells so good Doesn't in the studio. It? Do you smell that? Yeah, it really does. Uh -huh. it looks really like does. you're going to be getting messy over there, too. You're going to be making some All right, stuff. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah I'm going to roll up my sleeves. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we've got a lot to get to today. And so we're talking about Valentine's Day. What are you? Are you a stay in or are you a go out? You know what? I've changed throughout the years. When I yeah. four kids, I love to go to the hot spots, the hot restaurants, all that. But now that you know we have kids, it's it's so much easier to stay home. You can make it so much more special too, you know, in your house and you know, having you know the little extra, whether it's like gifts or you know just the yeah. fun, fun things compared to you know, going to a restaurant. You know, you're at the table and you can only do do so much, which you know some restaurants have. So, a lot sometimes of that's nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but with kids, it's so much easier. With I agree. Two and a four year old, and they and, like to be home too. Mm -hmm. They do. I, I'm totally with you. Mm -hmm. I always I like to be in, and that's for everything. Like New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. I'd rather be in. Like I just. I don't know. I'm a homebody. I'm such a yeah. homebody. And my son's so much like me. My daughter, a little bit like me. Like, she loves them. But then she's always like, Mom, I don't know why you like to be home so much. I just do. I, I just, I don't know. I love my comfy space. I hate to leave my animals. I, I like and our comfy home. pants. You can just have your sweatpants on. Thank you. Preach. Like, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I can wear those to you a nice restaurant. You can have an extra, extra little piece of chocolate when you uh -huh. have your comfy pants. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm. So, what are people saying? Or is it kind of split? Yeah, you know, uh, Melanie says that I'm staying in. My hubby makes an awesome seafood steamer pot. Ooh. It's better than Red Lobster. So. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I bet you she's crave, she's craving it already. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Martha has a great idea. She says this year at Christmas we gave my brothers and sisters and their spouses a gift card for a restaurant. They're saving it. They're gonna meet us out on Valentine's Day. Oh, that's fun. So yes, this year I'm very anxious to go out and have dinner with the family all on us. That's so, nice. That's actually that really nice. Nice. Uh -huh. nice. Like it keeps a, a gift that you can kind of look forward to then after Christmas. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's, that's such awesome. a win-win. Um, Peggy says I'm staying in. There's too much illness out there. We don't need the crowds. Um, we go out plenty. We don't need a certain day. So yeah. that's what some people say too. Like, you know, I'm not just going to go out and just on Valentine's Day. It's going to be so crowded. Right. Maybe we celebrate the day before or the day after. Yeah. So. And the weather might be a little tricky this weekend too. Yeah. So that's what I always like to just kind of stay in. Mm -hmm. Tracy says I'm staying in. Crowded loud restaurants aren't for me. We'll be grilling steaks or with Ooh. baked potato and fried squash regardless of the weather. Sounds great. I we're love actually, that. We're doing something similar. We're actually going to, um, uh, taking my son, we're going to pick up cupcakes from a oh, local cool. cupcake shop. Cute. And then, um, we're gonna get some steaks and some chicken and some food and just um, yeah. you know grill out at home. Mm -hmm. If the weather's really bad, we'll maybe George Foreman or something. That was, uh, oh, I love. I just got a new Foreman grill oh, like six uh -huh. months ago. Love it because uh -huh. I've had the same one since they came out and it was just it. I, 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 yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I but it still it was worked. Like, I, I was afraid it was gonna be a fire hazard. Though. I'm like, yeah, it did still work, and it was just it, little, teeny tiny, so now I got a little bit bigger one. Oh, I nice. like those. They are, and they're, they're so easy to clean up, and yes. you can use it year-round. The grilled cheese sandwiches. Like, mm. when you come home from work, make a grilled cheese sandwich yeah. on one of those. Oh. I have never tried that. <gasps> no, I always just do the little thing. We, yes. we make grilled cheese sandwiches all the time for the kids. So, so I use the, I can't believe it's not butter spray. Okay. And so spray the bread, and then put whatever you want in there. Oh. Oh, oh. So Grilled cheese is like my comfort food. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. 
The Me poll too. on this Valentine's Day survey was that most people just wanted pizza. That would be their number one meal that they could have on Valentine's. On Valentine's Day so you could cute. really do that going in or staying in or going yeah. out either way, but that people were just like, let's keep it simple, yeah. casual, and there's never a bad day for pizza, never, I don't no. think. I just, <laughs> no. now I'm hungry for pizza. Uh -huh. I mean, I know, right? That's just mention so it, weird. and it's, yeah. It was like National Pizza Day. Sunday, Sunday or Monday? Yeah, Sunday. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Sunday was National Pizza Day. Um, some of the other top foods, too. Um, finger foods, fried chicken, barbecue, and tacos. So I'm also good. always in for a taco. Me too. I mean, right? me too. Yeah, there's no. just not a lot I don't like. I <laughs> now, Steph, I, I see you saying yes to this survey. So 22% um, of the surveyed said they prefer an entire meal made out of dessert over any other type of dessert. <laughs> right? Jesus. Are you asking yes. about that one? Ah, I love it. <laughs> you know, you it's a like, very, it's, it's short, a special right? day. Yes. Eat dessert <laughs> first. You did have she your did dessert funny. yesterday too. Yes. Oh my goodness. And that dessert festival is going on uh, this weekend. On Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So um, one year I took the kids to Disney and when we got there, like we, we traveled all day and then ran to the hotel, changed our clothes and then went there later in the day. It's still one of the most memorable days for my kids because Sienna was just wanted this big brownie sundae. So I, I was like, no, no, it's gonna spoil your dinner. It's gonna spoil your dinner. It's gonna spoil your dinner. And she wanted, so I was like, go ahead and eat it. And we all ate, and that was our dinner. And it's it's the one day my kids will never forget that Aww. ever. It was the, and then I, cause I was so frustrated myself going like, oh my gosh, that's dinner. Like that's so not okay, but it was so okay. Yeah. They're fine, we survived. And that's the one day they always say, like, that was the we, best day. Yeah. Uh, brownie Sunday for Aww. dinner. I was just like, don't tell other people. <laughs> you know what? I think it's those things that that made, that it was so not. But it wouldn't be like, that they wouldn't love it as much if you did it all the time. Right. You know, so it was, it was so yeah. special. It was a very special thing. And that made this special memory. And I love that. Yes. I love it. It's so funny. So Aww. yes, eat dessert. Go That's for good. it. That's good. You'll never forget it. Yeah, we have tons of comments coming too. Uh, Rhonda says, staying home and ordering the best pizza on the west side. Ooh, what is Athens, it? Athens, she says. Athens. Mm -hmm. I've never, never I haven't had that. that. So, that sounds um, good. That sounds good. Put it on the list. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jennifer says, since the weather is going to be cold, we may be doing something warm and comforting. Maybe we'll make some shrimp and grits. Ooh, so that, that sounds, sounds good too. Mm -hmm. Melissa says, staying in and enjoying alone time with my love. So that sound as well. Love, love. Chris says, this is just a Hallmark <laughs> holiday. Oh! <laughs> a lot of people say that about Swedish Day, but Valentine's yeah. Day is like officially, you know, across the U.S. as well. So... <laughs> Uh, Bonnie says, I'm staying in, I'm having a good dinner and a movie night with loved ones. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, Katina is going to eat crawfish for Valentine's dinner. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. That's something you would eat every single day, yep. so you can spoil, spoil yourself a and little bit. I was bit. at a giant eagle uh, yesterday on the east side in Solon, and they have really all the stuff like kind of laid out, and they had a cute like heart-shaped tin with two steaks and two lobster tails in it. That's oh, that's a good great idea. Prices. Like, so you get that's that. That's cute. Yeah. Wait, just ready to go. That's like, great. I a bunch of different op options too right there for Valentine's Day. Huh. That sounds good. That's really good that idea. sounds really Is good. Um, Rhonda actually has a su suggestion for your grilled cheese. She says, yes. grilled cheese with chili cheese Fritos crushed in it. Wait, chili cheese? Chili cheese Fritos? Fritos? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that sounds yeah. really good and interesting. Uh-huh. That sounds really Do you know what good. I like to ever since, and I told, I just said this recently to you. Ever since we had a chef making grilled cheese sandwiches on the grill, oh, mm -hmm. do you remember that? Mm -hmm. He put a jelly in the grilled cheese. Yeah, with the juice. I don't remember what kind. Can you of ask cheese, me? You said so. Who, good. who was that? Business? <laughs> I know. This was, I know this was thirteen years ago, Jen. She like, needs that, that grilled cheese. <laughs> so I do put now. A lot of times I'll put a jelly in mm -hmm. with the cheese with the grilled cheese. So just like oozes out. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I need, to, I need to make some more sweet pepper jelly. Yes, you do. <laughs> so yes, we can you eat do. that. <laughs> but now I'm so hungry. I know. Mm -hmm. It's it's close to lunchtime. It is. Yes. yes. Or dinner time, whichever. We've been oh, up a long yeah. time. <laughs> right, right. You get up what time? Kevin? I get up at 1. She gets up at 1 a.m. Yes. This work. is at the end of my day, so it is dinner time for yes, me. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. She's ready for pizza. Um, Sharon says, I'm staying home, eating steak, baked potatoes, salad, and chocolate-covered strawberries. Well, I'm coming over. Mm -hmm. Christine says, she's going She's going with the trend. I'm ordering out pizza, wings, and breadsticks. That sounds I good. I love it. Ooh, and the Rhonda says, Athens, you must try it. It's full of toppings, and it's award-winning. So she oh. came back and said, hey, we, we have to try it. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah Rhonda. Rhonda. Call Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda. <laughs> okay, Rhonda. Call them time. right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, everyone, people, a lot of people are staying in, so. 
people are people are doing doing the thing. And with it being so cold too, right. it does make people want to stay in. Yeah, a lot of times people make it more about the family, like you guys with kids. And I always made it more about the kids too. It's fun and mm -hmm. special. And another thing we used to do over the years, you can because we had melting pot in last oh, week, yeah. mm -hmm. but you can also buy that cheese like a fondue yeah. cheese and so I would cut up a ton of vegetables and the kids would just love to eat all that stuff so I put it like in the middle in this big uh, thing platter that we have oh, and then cute. that was always fun for me as long as you know Valentine's Day is in February obviously everyone's usually sick so it'll be like mm -hmm. oh we we're gonna do a fondue <laughs> <laughs> wiped out and packed so we'll do something different uh -huh. but yeah we used to do that over the years you can you get it I know Trader Joe's used to have some pine and test some such so as mm -hmm. cheese that you can heat up yeah. And I wouldn't get crazy with burr. I just heat it in the microwave. It'd be mm -hmm. fine. That's, that sounds good, too. <laughs> and then do the little chocolate fondue after, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. That's fun. So That's do your own melting pot at home. Yeah, you can take that. We'll have to have them back on the show. Yes. <laughs> um, do you know what the most overrated gift is, according to this survey? I would Heart say shaped chocolate boxes. Oh, the most overrated? Overrated. Mm -hmm. I can say I have gotten maybe three in my lifetime though which i think is interesting is that it's an overrated gift but i have not honestly received it that often yeah. specifically yeah. the heart shaped box of chocolates mm -hmm. you know there's so many things you can get for valentine's day sure. i haven't gotten that one that much yeah so i like that i still think it's special i think it's cute i think it's just cute and yeah i do too my grandma yeah. always had one my grandpa yeah. always got her that oh isn't that sweet see mm. that's sweet that's now that's what is your special. favorite box of chocolate in that chocolate box Wait, what's the favorite? Your favorite chocolate. Oh. Like the one that you're looking, is it, do we have nuts in there? Is peanut it caramel? Peanut butter? Mm. Peanut butter? Uh-huh. Like a peanut butter cup if there's one in uh -huh. I like cashews. I always try to oh, find the one. But those are easier really. to find because, you know, the nuts are sticking yeah, up yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah, they're good to go. Talia? Uh, like probably a caramel or a coconut avoiding the jelly. Those I will leave for somebody else who might like them more. Because there's always those in there that are maybe not so. The orange cream, not uh, me for me. Too. I'm not, I was just going to say, mm -hmm. like, an orange. I'm just not Not, like not for me. Um, but really, I mean, I don't hate any of them. Yeah, there are just some that are more favorite than others. I think you're understanding that all of us here have never met a chocolate we did not. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Um, let's see. Trudy's, I'm thinking steak, maybe surf and turf for the hubby. Nice. Susan says, I'm staying in. I'm spending Valentine's Day with my husband and my fur babies. Good. I love it. Well, yeah. if you're going to stay in, we've got some great ideas for yes. you. So let's send things over here and say hello to Christine from Fawn and Fanny, right? Hello. Oh my gosh. It's so great to have you here. This is Bree. Is that Bree? Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, Bree. So tell us all about what you do. Okay. So and we're a brand new retail store in Stowe, but we're like unlike any other store. Okay. We're the first of our kind in our industry. We are a bath, body, and skincare business, but it's a DIY, customize your own bath, body, and skincare. Oh. So it's more of the interactive. Um, you kind of come in for an experience, have some fun, and um, you could walk out with some great body lotion, hand soap. Uh, what made you conditioner. think of this concept? Because it's really unique. Yeah, it's a combination of many, many different careers I've had, yeah. so um, it's just all kind of jammed into one career, and uh, I just, uh, yeah. It's, so you're yeah. you're in Stowe? Yes. Where are you located? We're located in the Hobby Lobby, well, it's Stowe Community Center sure. on 59, and we're in front of Hobby Lobby, but we're between Panera's and Chipotle. Oh, that's right a great area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good location. It stays so busy yeah. over there. It really is a busy, busy um, plaza, or I would say super center. Sure. But uh, right in front of Hobby Lobby, it's a little four-unit building, and we have Chipotle, Chipotle on one end, oh, and on the other, and we can't stay away from oh, it. Oh, <laughs> good luck. Do your best. Yeah, the kitchen sink cookie sucks me in every day and See? spits me out a little better. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Well, what else did you bring here? You've got so just like, yeah. the, it's like just adorable, and we've got a picture mm -hmm. behind you. Yep, this is our routine. It's, it's adorable. It's a little, it was after grand opening, so... Um, yeah. We were just, set up for a party. Yep. We don't have parties every day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. We actually have party rooms, so we do have parties kind of every day. You could. We just had a preschool um, in yesterday, no, Monday? Monday. Monday. Oh, I bet they yeah. had the best oh, well, time. Oh, so yeah. fun. So what do you do with those kiddos? So you could walk in. Um, you could just walk in and have a great time. You could walk in with a couple people. We have a lot of people just individually walk in. And we basically just take a unscented body, um, I'm sorry, un unscented base. And we'll ask, you know, we'll let a customer know they have the option to 
um, scent it and color it and boost it and we'll Ooh. walk them through the whole process. Wow. And um, yeah, it's just a little different. We, we strip down our bases of all the unnecessary chemicals and fragrances and dyes and let you bring it up as far as you're comfortable that with. Seems, that's wonderful. So we have organics. People are really enjoying the organic line and then they like to take or essential oils or all naturals and keep it like really healthy. Sure. And then when you take like a cocoa butter or shea butter or a vitamin E or boost it, you're actually feeding your skin. So, I mean, it's a little different than just a traditional body care product. And when we fragrance it, even if you take a traditional mainstream um, fragrance oil, you're still only getting a 1% fragrance load versus like 3 plus. Sure. So less, less chemicals on your body. People it's look always, at ingredients yeah. now for lotions, and I've been yeah. paraben free, and we have in my house for probably close to 15 years. And it, it's interesting because people didn't used to read those labels, and it's so important right. that, you, that you do that. Yeah. And now, I mean, because it's what you're putting, people do that with soups and all kinds of foods that they do, but you don't realize you're putting this over your entire body, yeah. and your body's absorbing it. So chemicals, that's that's such a big thing. Right. I'm sure now, too, people are loving this. Yeah. We underestimated, um, we sold out of our organic, a um, couple of our organic lines, mm -hmm. so we've, you know, did. Definitely a lot more people are into the naturals than we anticipated. Sure. Yeah. What's the best thing this time of year? Everyone has mm -hmm. dry skin. Like what's the oh. best thing to really hydrate your skin? A body butter. Yeah. A body lotion. But um, if you were to boost it with like an aloe, aloe is a hinecticant. So it'll draw moisture from the air and constantly be putting moisture into your skin. Mm -hmm. So it's like the superstar of the in raw ingredients that we have. So you do body butters too? We do body butters, body yeah. lotions, body scrubs. The scrubs are really fun. You could boost it with like jojoba beads and make it really, really, really fun. Oh, cool. We brought one for you to smell. It's okay. fruit, fruit Loops and you'll have a chance to kind of smell a selection of our, yeah. our, um, our Are those bath, the little bath bombs over there yep. too? Is that what yeah. Yep. Those we are have popular, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, sure we have the are. round bath bombs hiding back there, and then we actually have cupcake bath bombs as well. There's one over here in this crate. Oh, how cute. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> that could not be cuter. So how cute. come we're always talking about food? Everything goes right back. <laughs> talking about lotions, but yeah, yum. <laughs> that looks good enough to eat. We have a lot of parties in our place because we have two party rooms and we have interactive parties. How fun. So, in addition to just walking, in and creating a, a body care product and you can actually kind of gather and have a really good time we have a lot of like 12th birthday 14th birthday 18th birthday we have church ladies came in last weekend Aww. we had a preschool field trip Monday we have sorority we have 155 girls coming from Delta Zeta possibly are you oh, kidding yeah. that's so no, what a State great University. idea yes. of something so yeah. unique and different yeah and like you said bringing everyone together but then everyone can make their own thing Yes, and absolutely have choices. Oh. And you have choices with, with fragrance oils, naturals, you can feed your skin, you can keep it just like kind of a traditional mainstream body care product sure. if you want, want. It's just a personal choice. I love it. So yeah, like I'm, when you do a party, this is what everyone kind of gets? Yeah, really everybody gets it set up with a little bowl whisk spoon base. You know, you get to first select your fragrance oils. With, this is how you select your fragrance oils. Oh, We have all our fragrance oils here. All our old naturals and all our essential oils separated over here, and so you kind of kind of sniff around first, and you kind of get an idea of what you want to scent, and then we help you from there. I'm going to turn you over to Bree, and she's going to walk you through Bree, how to do. Yes. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so we brought you an apron. Okay. You want one. Yeah. Yeah. I love these. Did you guys have, have them? They're made? so cute. No, but we will so have our cute. name embroidered and our logo embroidered. So oh, there's it's so cute. Okay. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. This is your tray. I'm going to make one with you over here. Okay. So just kind of follow suit here. All right. Um, we're making a body look. Well, I'm sorry. We're making a hand lotion I actually. Know. Okay. So we're going to start with our pouch of okay. unscented base. Work the product yeah. out of your corner. Oh. Oh, yeah, hang yeah, it upside yeah. down, work okay. the product out of a corner. Yep. We heat seal it, that way it doesn't like bust oh, open while we're doing this. Smart, right? And then we're okay. just gonna snip the corner off. Mm -hmm. Okay. We always yeah, like to say, make sure it doesn't go in the bowl. Yeah, but see, <laughs> mine went right in there. They always wind up in the bowl, even if oh, you say I... it though. <laughs> Oh, this smells so good. It's unscented. Yeah. It shouldn't smell like anything. Well, what smells so good then? What am I you're, smelling? You're probably smelling your... your Does your, my apron uh, smell? Yeah. <laughs> it smells so good. Yeah. We spritzed... We have furniture and linen spritzer. 
So that's probably. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. What do we put on her? April, April Fresh um, Downy? Yeah, or something, something like that. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not sure. Mango oh, Tango, oh Apple Mango Tango. It smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love yeah. this. Actually, you're probably smelling some bath bomb. I, I smell some bath bomb yeah, coming this maybe. way too. I can't smell like anything at this point. Really? <laughs> oh <my laughs> Sensory overload. Okay, so we've got our base. Yep, and go ahead. Um, that bowl hiding back there, go ahead and just drop bowl? it in. Oh, we okay. always have these right, on the guys. table. So now we're going to pick your scent. Yeah, it's just so much okay, I didn't get it. better than grilling the garlic. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Okay, yes. Right. Okay, so now we're going to pick our scent. I've got fragrance oils over here, um, all naturals and essential oils. So we're just going to pop them open. Okay. Give them a little Can sniff. I have this? <laughs> Whatever is in the we, did, we didn't bring that. I'm sorry. Yeah, our, this is our signature oh, scent, and then they've the got their labels the on the front. So it's our signature That's scent. That's nice signature scent. Mm -hmm. Wait, I like Jamaican me crazy. That's this one. Oh, wait, there's one very funny, which I am not repeating. <laughs> well, I'm tempted. That's one of our customer favorites, by the way. What is, that? what is that? I picked it for the kids, but the ladies are just going nuts with that and, the, and one other one. What does this smell? Like, so it's, 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 like a, it's banana strawberry. Banana strawberry. Banana strawberry. <laughs> so it's monkey bars. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So, you won't smell those at the zoo. It's a little nutty. Honey, a little different. Yeah. Vanilla yeah. love dust. Oh, wow. Ooh. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Yes. This is our number yeah. one oh. favorite, customer favorite, hands down, five times over. That's the vanilla? No, no. no this no, one, no. the one. That's what everybody makes. Oh. It's Fruit Loops. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so. When good. when that's they good. come in, that's like the first go to, and that's usually what they wind up leaving with. I think I like. It. Yeah. So you also have choices here. There's Brazilian orange. Okay. And then there's also spearmint. Those are essential oils. All natural. I'm sorry. 100% therapeutic. Um, organic. Can a yeah. Okay. Give it. Give it. You can do it. There All right. Go. Hmm. Okay. That's so good. That's orange. Brazilian orange. And spearmint. Yep. Mm, boy, that'll wake now, you up. These are two of our favorite all-natural fragrance oils. They are actually botanicals, so they're fragrance oils, but they're plant-based. Mm. So they're, you know, they're essential oils, and they're... Um, I like that. Yeah, they're really nice. Cactus agave is probably our favorite, and our peachy pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to step back know, a little right? bit. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's the peachy pineapple. Yeah, peachy mango. pineapple mango. I think I like this one. This that's cactus my favorite. Nagabi. Is it? Yeah, yep. that's my all-time favorite. One. Okay, yeah. I like that. Okay. So that's what the lotion will smell like. Yep, yep. and that's, that's what we're gonna do. And it's an all-natural, and it's at a five or half a percent fragrance load. So you're even better. But even if it was at a one percent fragrance load for that particular one, it's an all-natural, so it's plant-based. Anything you could derive out of a seed, stick, leaf, pod, flower bud, and essential oils and um, botanicals. Oh, I so, love it. Mm -hmm. What's your second favorite? That's the one I'll do. Okay, second favorite I liked. I do. That smelled good. Um, the oh no, I don't. I, Cause that kind of smells like coffee, and then I don't want to. Mm, I don't know. I can't oh. choose. <laughs> I don't like pressure. Yeah, we like putting sense. Stephanie on the spot during <laughs> the eleven o'clock show. Yes, you know that happened to me last week with the Morris, Valentine's flowers. Yeah. I was so stressed mm -hmm. out. So we chose the signature scent over here, but we also have yeah. all the guys. The guys have a special place in our business that we've created a logo for them, designed. You know the bottles and everything, so it's kind of plays down all the girly foo fooiness. Yeah, and they really are enjoying it. Guys what is are the most popular guy scent? The guy scent is probably Polo Black. Mm. So Ralph Lauren's Polo Black, and then Perfect Man the is Perfect a good Man. one. Yeah, yeah. you, you can, can get that in a bottle. Yeah, you can <laughs> bottle that wow, I'll have, I've been I'll looking. Have I haven't seen it. You can get Dude and Stud Dude. and. Um, what warm rustic wood? Is a perfect man here? Do you have? I think, I think do. so. Yeah. So that's Doctor Feel Good. There's oh. Scott. <laughs> Here's warm rustic wood. All of our guy scents are a little risque. Aqua <laughs> So fun. Polo black. Ooh. Cool waters. I'm sorry. I'm try that. Polo black. Okay. There you go. I can't believe we didn't bring a perfect man. That's. I love like strong men's. Even I like to wear men's cologne. Yeah, I love it. Wait, that's traditional. nice. Yeah, that's so nice. I like the Aqua Di Gio just because it's like a lighter and and I don't know. So but, you do mm -hmm. body sprays. What else? Do, what else? Are, yeah, we so um, but guys have beard oils. Lotions. They've got wet shave. Ooh. They've got the the um, the pucks for the wet shave. They've got you know shampoo conditioner. The same thing we do: body lotions, that's body good. washes, hand lotions. Hand sanitizers are great for a guy because if they just sanitize their hand. 
that scent stays on them forever. Same with us. Our hand sanitizers are amazing. Wait, so you have scented hand sanitizers? Yeah, Yeah, yeah. any of our unscented products, you can choose your scent and create it. Really? Yeah, so Mm -hmm. shampoo, conditioner, lotion, hand Mm -hmm. soap, body wash. Yep. Your hand sanitizer. (laughs) Tons of stuff. Furniture and linen spray, we have cutting board creams, we have all natural cast iron conditioners. We do a lot. So furniture spray, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So it's a furniture and linen spray, but what you do is you spritz your clothes and linen and furniture with it and we have like April Fresh um, Downy, we have Gaines Apple Mango Tango, Island Fresh is a great one. We even have like Bath and Body Sea, um, sea, Co- sea Island Cotton. Mm-hmm. But then there's some others that don't have any names behind them. But when you do a fragrance oil and somebody recognizes it, that's wonderful. But when they actually take something that they create yeah. and make a blend, mm-hmm. they get to blend fragrance oils as well. They Ooh. love it. <laughs> make your own potion. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so we're, we're ready for next step. Yes. Okay, so we're going to take our fragrance pods. Okay. We're just going to pop them open. Okay. Mm-hmm. Dump it into our mix. All righty. Should we take your trash? No, it's okay. I'm just going to leave it on my tray. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. Okay. Okay. Whisk. Whisk. Go ahead and mix it up. Mm-hmm. Now during this part, your consistency might change a little bit. That's completely normal. Oh, that smells so good. This is fun. What a yeah. great idea for a party. And people who laugh and giggle, they bring wine in, they sit at our, we have a formulating studio up front. It's all like glassed in. And we also have a raw bar back here. And you have like option to sit at the raw bar with all the natural ingredients. Oh, look. You can't see it, it's right behind here, but there's a six, Cedar set of stools right there. Huge stools. Yeah. yeah. And up front there's a formulating studio. It's a big, huge island. We could get a ton of people around it. You don't need to make an appointment. You could just walk in and have some fun before what after a great dinner. Idea. Yeah, yeah. People do it all day long. I, I mean some sometimes the kids are at school and the moms come in and just whip up yeah. something and they leave. But then in the evenings, uh, people are going out to dinner and they'll put it on the front end, back end. We had some bachelorettes come in right before their dinner at Rosewood Grill in Hudson. Oh. So they kind of had a night of it. They brought a bottle of wine. It's just a fun thing to I do. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's a healthy great idea. and fun, and you walk away and you have something to use right. that you use on a it daily basis. Smells yummy. Mm-hmm. Color. Okay, yes. What color. are you thinking? Ooh. Green, um, blue, pink, orange, yellow. Pink. Pink. Okay, mm-hmm. like bright, bright pink. Sure. Okay. Let me see here. Fuchsia. Or light pink, whatever. Light pink, yeah. I think if you have it, do you have okay. light pink? So we can try to do light here. pink. Do we have a uh, here? Okay. You handle that. Here. We usually take a popsicle stick because one drop is oh, very concentrated. So if sure. you take a tiny little smidge, oh, so we do a mix. Yeah, yep. go ahead and mix yep. that. It'll be a oh, oh, look at that! Oh, oh my god, god, that's beautiful. How fun! Oh, I love this. Yep. You can set it on there if you want. Are you sure? Yes. Absolutely. That's a fun. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Smells good, looks good. Yeah, and it's natural. That's great. All right, then what? Oh, I did purple. Oh, neat. Which is super weird for our signature sign. Usually we do pink, but I didn't want to be copy. No, I love <laughs> that though. That's beautiful. And I guess you could do like, our, our, I start looking at purple and think of my Purple Raiders, Mount Union. So it'd be mm-hmm. fun for like, as you mentioned, the sorority mm-hmm. girls oh, yeah. come in and they can do the whatever color yep. they want. We do rainbow sherbet and we take, for the kids, we take it and split it in three different portions. And we do orange and lime green and, and pink. And then we pipe it into the bottle and it looks like rainbow Oh, oh that's so cool. I love it. And then we take the fruit loop because so again, it's the favorite. Sure. And we do like layers. So we do like purple on the bottom, pink in the middle, and then like orange on top, so. Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, we're gonna transition from whisk to spatula. Okay. So, yep, just knock it off, leave it on your tray. Mm-hmm. And then just go ahead and scrape the sides. Yes. Okay, sometimes color gets stuck, so we just have to incorporate it all in. Okay, ooh, this is nice. All right. Okay. Are you good with a piping bag? Ready, yeah, let's do okay. it. So we scoop it in? Yep, scoop it in. So do you have a website too? We sure do. We have a beautiful website. We're on Facebook, Instagram. Um, So we can encourage people to go to the website. It's very informational, almost too. (laughs) But the website, or the Facebook and the Instagram will tell you like all the different stories people are talking about, how much fun they're having, posting pictures from parties. Either, either, and Instagram as well. Um, We put some really cool pictures on Instagram as well. What a neat concept. I love it. Okay. So we're just gonna pull the piping bag out of the cup, okay? 
give it a few good shakes down. All right. Okay. And then go ahead and clear your sides a little bit here. And I'm just gonna take the lid off my bottle. Oh, Christine, you got me all ready, right? Yeah. Just, all right. right. Are we gonna cut that? Little? All right. Before you cut, oh, yes. the trick is you want to give it a really tight twist at the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if you don't, as soon as you squeeze, it's, it's gonna come up. Yeah. It's fine you know, when that's the icing. Yeah. <laughs> it's happened before. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to try to clean this on your hands. Bullets <laughs> lotions, we just rub it in usually. We right. don't use paper towel anymore. Right. <laughs> on your legs. Okay. All right. Yep. And then we're just going to snip the bottom off. Okay. okay. I think she'll help you out there. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Now it's going in. Yep. Mm -hmm. How fun. Yep. What a great idea. And don't forget Wait, some comments. Nyla says amazing products and the people who work there. So she, uh, she obviously has been in the store. Uh, we have Mary Beth says, I love Fawn and Fanny with a big heart. Aww. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Nyla. <laughs> and then one of you must have a brother named Matt. Yeah, we Bethany sure do. Says, I love you, sis. I can't wait Aww. to visit and see the store. Aww. Maddie, I love you. I miss you. He's a new dad. So. Aww, yeah. congratulations. congratulations. And Nyla's my mother-in-law. I love Aww. her dearly. And my mom's out there, Marceline, Aww. Marcy. You are blessed. That's yes. awesome. Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> so what did your brother have? What did they have? They had a little boy, Walker Aww. Ray. Oh, He's oh. newborn and he is adorable. Oh, <laughs> Walker cute. Ray. Oh, yeah, that's so cute. Cute. They that's live awesome. in Fort Myers. Well, oh, they live nice. in Bonita. Actually, I think it's Fort Myers now. Yes. They just bought a house yeah, in Fort that's Myers. That's so beautiful there. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. So that's, that's what I love about this show and Facebook that anyone can watch mm -hmm. and yeah. pop in, pop out when they can. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right, Bree, lid what's goes next? on. Okay. We're almost done. I love We're it. We're just going to put the lid on, screw it on tight. And then we take this little sticker that I gave you. Oh, yes. And it goes on the front of the bottle between the two lines. That way you remember what scent you did. Yep. Oh, oh, cute. Nice. Oh, I love it. Perfect. And there you go. You Even our little, product. little guys do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so nice. What a great idea for yeah, kids' birthday yeah. parties and stuff. Because we're always They're trying to think of lots new things. Of fun mm -hmm. with it. And the little girls, if they're a little, um, they, it doesn't matter the age. They have a tiara. They can wear a little pageant Aww. tiara crown. I want to wear that too. I know. <laughs> and that, I think the bachelorettes are going to want to wear it too. I so love the that. Bachelorette reveal parties and um, just the kids' parties alone. Bachelorette like, reveal parties. That's a great idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. with glam gram parties. Put the color mm -hmm. underneath and then have everyone yeah. start mixing and then. Oh, There's the so many options. <laughs> the sky's the limit when you want to gather. It could be just a girls' night yeah. out. It could be a kids' party. It could be a. Um, Youth group, church mm -hmm. youth group. Um, it's or go any, by yourself. You know, yeah. sometimes there's those things we like to explore yeah. and do on our own, and yeah. this is a great thing to do. Yeah. I love it. What made you think of the name? Um, <laughs> oh gosh. Um, if you were having a fun and fanny party, what kind of party would you be having? Aww. A fun and fancy party. Aww. But anyways, no, it, it, it's a little less dramatic than that. But um, it's cute. I yeah, like it. Thank you so it's much. It's interesting. It's different. Yeah. It's clever. It's not a. It's not a pet or anything. So okay. It's just a it's name. Very cute. Just a cute little name. Great, thank you. No problem. You're great. I love this. We have more comments. Sherry, my daughter, and I love Fawn and Fanny. It's such a cool place. The owner and the staff are amazing. Oh, thank you. We have Angela says, wow, that is so cool. <laughs> Jennifer says, hi, Britt. Jennifer <laughs> mcnis Gauzy. Oh, but, yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. So what, your hours, real quick. Are, so are there any uh, every day closed? of the week, we're okay. open from 11 till 9, Sundays from 12 to 6, and uh, all, all day long you can walk in. Um, if you want to book a party, um, get a hold of us in advance. We've got a form to fill out and we have some some choices to make and uh, um, Our price points are all 995 for the 8 ounce products. So anything like this in a bottle is 8 995 um, Anything in a jar which would be up top here. These are these are 12.95, and it doesn't cost is anything more. Yeah, I yeah. wanted to pull it out so you yes. can see. This is our Fruit Loop scrub. Oh, see how oh. you can it with jojoba beads. Yeah, we put jojoba like beads in there. Scrub. Look at that. Yeah. It's amazing. You need to put warning labels on yeah. these. Do not eat. so cute. This yeah. looks like um, magic fairy dust or something in there, right? Oh, we have fairy dust. Like Actually, princess, glitter and fairy yeah. dust. We could put mica in there and stuff. Oh, my gosh. But these are $12.95, and again, it doesn't cost anything more to DIY. So $9.95 is our price point for the most part. So whether you um, buy it, it's already make prepared it. or yeah. make it. Yeah, on the shelf absolutely. or make it yourself, same yes. price. We don't charge yeah. you more to make it. So. And this stuff is so great right now in the winter time to get yeah. that dead skin off. So that's dead sea salt from Israel. And um, we, we use, we use um, liquid soap in there and massage oil so it rinses off nicely and it doesn't leave you all oily. Yes. But there is the massage oil in there, which is jojobas and argons and, and vitamin E's nice. and sweet almonds. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. That's a treasure. We'll leave this for you and you can put it in your bathroom here. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna. Yeah. This is for you. Yeah. That's yours. That's yours. Oh, wow. Thank yep. you. 
thank we're you guys so much. We're gonna get you some all naturals too, since you said your family is mm -hmm. terribly free and all that. Our all natural base is, is amazing. Um, our customers obviously love it. Like I said, we are we are waiting on a new shipment. So that's great. I mean, yeah. that's the thing. We will, really we will definitely get you that. This was so fun. Mm -hmm. Thank Thanks. you guys. I, I appreciate you. Stick around. Fun. We're gonna send mm -hmm. things over to Matt real quick because, okay. like today, you feel like you're pampering. You feel like a kid again. Mm -hmm. He's got some more information about a kid again, and you are gonna love this. Hey, Matt. Each month, Colleague Giving and Fox 8 will highlight people, organizations, and charities making a difference in Northeast Ohio. It's time to celebrate Cleveland's own. Hi, I'm Matt Colleague. For nearly 25 years, they have been fostering hope, happiness, and healing to families raising children with life-threatening illnesses in a very unique way. Let's take a look at A Kid Again right here in Northern Ohio. Well, thank you, Christine, for sitting down with me today. I know firsthand what it's like to have a child that has an illness. Thank God ours was treatable, but I cannot imagine uh, being a parent or having a family that has a child with a life-threatening illness. So tell me about A Kid Again. Sure, well, A Kid Again's purpose really is to foster hope, happiness, and healing for families that are doing the unimaginable, and that's raising a child with a life-threatening illness. And we've actually been doing so in the state of Ohio for over 25 years this year. So it's super exciting. We have three chapters in Ohio, and right now we're here to talk about the Northern Ohio chapter, and we cover all of Northern Ohio. Wow. And what makes us a little unique is that we serve the entire family. So it's brothers, sisters, moms, and dads, because when illness strikes a family, everybody is impacted. And so what we do is a little bit unique in that we um, provide fun-filled activities or events that we call adventures. And okay. we take these families throughout the year to great places like Cleveland Indians games, the zoo. We just took the families to the Soapbox Derby and had a fun fest and the kids actually got to go down the hill. Did they really? In the cars. Did you get um, to do that? I didn't get to. I was like running around trying to make sure everybody was having a good time and making sure there were smiles on all the faces. So I didn't get to do that. So the adventures occur throughout the year so they can go to as many as they want. And so what that does is it kind of gives them something positive to look forward to since most of the time they're spending looking at their calendars when's the next doctor appointment oh no we have to go to the hospital when's the next treatment there's no cost to them we we pay to get into the park or wherever we go we pay for parking and we always pay for some food and crafts so the families can interact with each other and um, create a sense of community what are the families saying we get a lot of positive feedback from our families and recently received an email from one of our dads and he said, thank you so much for including my entire family. Our ill child gets a lot of attention, whether it's good or bad, whether it's at the hospital, he gets a lot of um, treats or presents or surprises, but then my other children are kind of left out. And he even referred to them as the forgotten ones. And so he said, what about the forgotten ones, the healthy siblings and the parents? Thank you for including our entire family, a kid again. That's amazing. Because you're right, the families are the families are affected. Right. Uh, I can I can imagine that the kid gets good or bad attention. Yes. Uh, but the other siblings, yeah. Right. It's really special what you guys do. Thank you. It's very enjoyable, very, very overwhelmingly fun too. Yeah. So how can people help? Uh, there's just there's a lot of ways people can help I and mean, we have a lot of volunteer opportunities then there's also way donations obviously I would say cash is king but we always take <laughs> donations of course um, we have fundraisers so you could always check out our fundraisers uh, we have our big fall fundraiser coming up on September 28th okay. um, which is an adventure to Havana so there's those opportunities and then we always look for in-kind donations too there's a lot of ways to help out a kid again um, just help families put illness aside just to be a kid again. So thank you so much for being here uh, and, and teaching us about a kid again. It's amazing what you guys do for the community and so thank you very much. Well I can't thank you enough for having me here. We're growing leaps and bounds and to just let everybody know what we do is fantastic because if we're not reaching more families then we're not doing our job. So I really appreciate your time today. To learn more about how you can help go to akidagain.org. Make it a great day. Yes. Okay. B -E Matt, thank you so much. Ladies, Christine and thank Bree, thank you so much. You've got to check out this place. And even during break, we were just listening to more great things that you do. Mm -hmm. So you really, you guys have such a neat concept and a really great it. place. We want, we're, we're, we're thankful for having you, or, uh, you having us. Oh my goodness. So. Well, when you can go into a local place that's born and bred right here in, right. in this area, that's amazing. And it's really special and one of a kind. 
Yep. Thank you, you both for doing this with us. Thank and you. thank you for being with us today. And I just wanted to share my quote with you. And actually it even means more now um, that we just had this segment. But don't just be good to others, which we're always talking about, but also be good to yourself too. And whether that's just taking a little time for yourself or as I mentioned, that voice in our head sometimes can be really negative, but we would never say those things to our friends or our family. So make sure you turn that around and say some of those positive things to yourself, your future self. Thank you. Have an awesome day and we'll see you back here tomorrow. So long.